Hello, Coach Dad here, and welcome to another practice video. And today we're going to continue on with strategies that involve the pawn. What we want to do is be able to practice all these examples that we're about to show you right here. If you do, uh, feel free to practice along. If you do see these numbers right here on the top right, feel free to pause the video, set up the chessboard right in front of you. Again, I always encourage everyone to just set up the board in front of you, be able to move the pieces around in order to do these examples. I hope these examples and practice questions be able to help you out and be able to hone in on your skills a little bit more. Best of luck to you and good luck on these upcoming practice chess examples. In this particular example, we see black to move. Black is very close to queening its pawns right here on the G and the H file. Can you find the best move for black? If you said bishop captures g3, sacrificing yourself, you are correct. Because in this case, if the pawn takes, black would then be able to promote this pawn right here to queen. This knight cannot move fast enough in order to stop that queening square right here on h1. In this position, can you find the best move for white? Okay, before we go on with our answer, I'm going to show you a couple of possible moves right now. As we can see here, if we do decide to go take the knight on the e7 right here, black can simply respond by coming here and be able to stop this pawn from promoting. It'll be very tough for this rook to come up here to protect because this queen's guarding the square right now. So then black has been able to stop both of these pawns from progressing on the e file. If white attempts to go with f7, trying to push for the pressure of promotion, what black can simply do is be able to come here and stop this promotion happening from right here. And lastly, another tough move that white can make as well is being able to take this pawn right here on c5 and black can simply respond with taking the f6 pawn, stopping this pawn from ever progressing and stopping that pawn from ever moving forward. And the correct answer that you have right here is going to be a sacrificial rook to h5. Rook to h5 puts quote unquote pressure on the king, making black being able to respond in this position. What black has to respond next is by taking this rook right here or else it will lose its own rook. And then white would then be able to take this knight right here. In this case, it doesn't matter if the rook is coming here, the, the pawn is going to promote and there's no other squares because you also have a second pawn right here blocking the promotional square right here on E8. In this position right here, Spassky is playing as white and wins in two moves and makes his opponent resign. Can you find the best move for white? If you said queen to c8 check, you are correct. This queen is now checking the king and also attacking this rook at the same time. The king only has one square to move because this pawn is blocking this runaway square right here. So then the king has to go over here to h7. And now once queen takes the rook on e6, black responds being down a rook black responds with taking the queen on e6 and now we are in prime position to be able to promote this pawn right here black in this position resigns because there's no other move that you could stop this uh from happening because even if the queen decides to try to like stop this queening right here it'll uh it'll be taken and guarded by the rook down here so then in this position white is up the entire rook and then being able to win the game right here. In this position, can you find the best move for black? What black is worried about right now is if this king moves out of the way, it's going to be the d5 pawn is going to be captured. So black actually has an opportunity to create a breakthrough for queening promotion. And the best move for black right now is moving f4. Now being captured by either of these pawns, I'm going to show you what their responses can be. 
if pawn e pawn takes right here what black can be able to play next is a great h4 and if white decides to take right now then we then have g3 attacking this f2 pawn and if white takes this then now we have this pawn being able to move down for promotion Another opportunity that white can still play right here is if white decides to take with the G pawn, then black will continue on moving H4 because it doesn't matter what the responses are in this situation right now. If this pawn decides to move up, of course, we could just pass it up for promotion and whatever this uh, position is going to be, be able to, uh, let's say an example, an example would then be able to rush this pawn down here. We'll be able to clear out the room. So just to be able to show the example right now, if white decides to even do something like a, a check right here, and then white black white would be able to take this uh, D5 pawn, what black would then be able to play this move. If it ignores this pawn, this pawn would then be able to promote. Or if it decides to take, this pawn is now a runaway queening pawn right here, straight towards H1. I hope that you enjoyed that practice video today, being able to continue on learning, learning, learning and practicing your chess games. I love it whenever you all have been uh, sharing your comments down below, being able to share your experiences with chess. If you have any further questions, I might make a video for it or probably answer everything that you want uh, in order to learn this better chess games. Again, remember to hit the bell notification for any future videos so that way you can continue to see all the videos that come out this upcoming summer. Um, the summertime is coming around, so you have a little more free time. Good luck on your chest. Videos are going to be produced every single week, and then uh, we'll be able to continue on. Thank you very much. You have a great day.